Dark on Battle's 8th anniversary is introducing some brand new standby skills, and I'm wondering what might be next for Dark in 2023. Here are my thoughts. Now in terms of characters, I reckon we're going to get some units that we haven't really gotten before, or that have been neglected over the years. I think the top contenders will be not really from GT because we have been getting a bunch of GT units for the past couple of years. So we're looking at some units maybe from Super or from the original Dragon Ball series. Most definitely we have to get some more what if characters like the Tech, LR, Goku and Gohan from the Cell games. I think some examples of these what if characters could be, let's say it's a team up between Super Saiyan Goku and Piccolo from Namek or perhaps Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from Namek. Perhaps another team up unit could be uh, Gotenks, Piccolo and Ultimate Gohan from the Buu Saga. It's my opinion that these sorts of units will really bring some more life into the game. Now for this next card, I have said this before on stream, but I would really like to see a Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo dual card, maybe a exchange card if you will, just like the one from Dragon Ball Heroes. The reason I say this, of course, is because, as we all know, the superhero celebration in Dokkan wasn't exactly the best. It wasn't really handled too well. So I think a redemption arc is in order, and this sort of card might be the best sort of chance that Dokkan can get to redeem Beast Gohan. Whether or not we get a playable Cell Max is another thing entirely. But for this sort of card, I reckon just having the exchange, ex bruh, exchange skill and... Um, Perhaps using it more than once, being able to swap in and out of, uh, or to and from, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo would be quite a nice ability. Now in terms of events, I think that uh, stages like Red Zone are going to be the you know, top difficulty for a while. But we'll definitely see some, of course, brand new story events, which is good for free to play players, we can get more stones. But definitely, well, in terms of high difficulty events, perhaps stages that feature longer battles, they won't be too short, I think that'll be the norm for a little bit. I do think that Dokkan is going to have a little bit of focus on growth events as well, like the uh, events similar to the Master Roshi training event that we can see in Dokkan right now. And of course we get to mechanics, gameplay mechanics. Now, I think it's interesting to note that Dragon Ball Heroes did introduce a whole Dokkan mode into the game called Dokkan Rush. And I think, obviously, the gameplay is 2D, so we can't add anything too drastic, but I think that adding the standby skills from the 8th anniversary is going to be a good start. And where it goes from there is anybody's guess. Me, personally, mechanics like Dokkan mode and similar will definitely be a great buff or boon, I should say, to the gameplay of Dokkan. It is interesting when you think about it because it's very difficult to come up with really unique moves and gameplay. I think related to this matter, the producers should look to previous years and previous uh, game modes, I should say, like the first version of Battlefield, because we haven't seen that for a while. And I think modes like Chain Battle are outdated and very, what's the word I want to use here? Very irritating, very sluggish. It's not really hitting right with a lot of the fan base. And I think if they continue to listen to feedback, then I think that will prove very beneficial for the game. But those are just my quick thoughts on where Dokkan might go in 2023. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Have yourself a fantastic one. See you later.